Bill Phipps. Um, I'm a Colt instructor and I teach the mountain and rock climbing sections for the Colt program. I've now been working for Colt for nine years and for Strathcona Park Lodge for 10 years. And I'm from, actually from Campbell River, which is just down the street from the lodge. So right now we're up on the summit of Big Interior. Uh, we just summited the peak uh, during our snow and glacier course. We spent yesterday doing crevasse rescue training and traveling on glaciers and today we worked across the glacier and made it up to the top in a beautiful, perfect sunny day. Uh, so I'd always heard about the lodge when I was uh, a young kid growing up in Campbell River and knew the, uh, the family that owned the lodge and had kind of all sorts of ideas of what I thought the lodge would be. And uh, after university, I, I, doing an education degree, um, I decided I didn't want to teach indoors. So I did a few odd jobs with some construction and running a climbing store and a climbing gym. And just my desire to be outside, I decided to make a big change and moved out of the city and out to the lodge and have been working here ever since and loving it. Just great to be combining my education background with my love of climbing in the mountains. Yeah, I think the, the unique thing the Lodge offers to the students is the fact that they're taking their course in an actual working environment. So by that I mean there's, there's people at the Lodge currently guiding people, you know, taking outdoor groups out, and so being interactive with those actual instructors and the actual guides is something that not many programs can offer. You know, just the fact that you can actually see what it's like to be an outdoor guide while you're taking the COLT program gives you something that, that no other organization can. So I, I think the biggest myth is uh, that people kind of have a hard time wrapping their heads around is that there actually are many, many, many mountains on Vancouver Island, even though we are just a, a little island in the Pacific. Um, if you can look behind me here, you can see a number of the islands. If you could see what I can see behind the camera, there's just mountains surrounding us. So there's just in, an incredible area here with an amazing number of, of peaks, with glaciers, with beautiful areas to go climbing, beautiful areas to go skiing. It's just a, a treat for sure. Uh, so when, I, when I'm not working with the Colt program, I do some mountain guiding and some rock climbing guiding. And then in the winter, I work for the local ski hill. So for the ski hill, I'm an avalanche forecaster. So my job is to study the snowpack and then if there's any avalanche danger to control that avalanche danger. Uh, pretty awesome. I definitely have to admit, like all the dads warn me, it's going to be a change of lifestyle for sure. Um, a lot of my personal trips are now a little, little shorter than, than multi-day. They're kind of maybe just a day trip. but. It's an amazing adventure as well. Pretty cool to, to watch him run around now and definitely he's uh, climbing on everything so maybe a, a future mountaineer in the family. I think the great thing about the lodge is, it might sound strange, but because uh, you, you don't make a lot of money as an outdoor educator. I think what it does is it, it attracts people who are really passionate about the job. You know, they're there because that's how they are rich. They're rich by what they do for a living and they're rich by the, the community that they share that with. So everybody at the lodge is just a, a super caring individual. Um, they're all unique. They all have different backgrounds. They all come from different places. And I think it's just everyone coming together and becoming a, a small little community is what makes it amazing. Everybody's just, just so friendly there, it's, it's incredible. You can come back after being at the lodge you know, five years ago and come back you know, the next five years later and everyone still welcomes you back just like you're part of a family. Uh, next big adventure, um, I've got a buddy coming who actually used to work at the lodge, is coming next week and we're hoping to maybe take a, a stab at a, a first ascent, so a first first time climbing of a, of a east face, uh, the Caldwell. 